Okay, so here's another thing with this J. Christopher dude. This Brohim. Badass. And now he's talking about um, his experiences at this uh, music festival. Um, before this, what I'm going to show you guys, he was talking about uh, how he saw these guys trying to pull this. Uh, remember what he said, uh, some kind of a s rod or, or, or something out of the ground and they had been at it for a while and there were guys that were a lot bigger than him and he just kind of walked up and, and uh, got it. <laughs> Not the, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so that's kind of uh, reminiscent of uh, the sword and the stone. He learned a little bit. I just now thinking about that. But uh, okay, why I am uh, recording this or sharing this is because uh, recently I've ex been experiencing things uh, as well. And I kind of just actually attributed it to. Uh, coming off my fast, uh, getting more energy and life force in me. So a lot of times uh, my body will respond uh, very quickly and I will gain a lot of muscle back. But uh, this time... I just recently ended my fast about four days, four or so days ago. Uh, this time, uh, it, it was very immediate and uh, very dramatic. Um, after my first um, yoga sculpt class, like right afterwards, I went into the bathroom, looked in the mirror, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Like I look like I've been working out for like a fucking non-stop like I have a gym membership and shit which I don't like I don't I don't really do that shit on a regular basis but uh I definitely looked it and it was just surprising uh so much so that I mentioned it to people that I don't normally talk to about that kind of stuff um but yeah that's also kind of why I touched upon in the last video I did about uh, going a little bit deeper in my yoga practices and stuff is because I've been feeling uh, more strength and more uh, in touch with with my inner knowingness and holding strong in that. And so I've been making the conscious choice of engaging that because because I'm feeling this right now. I've been uh, encouraging what, I, what I'm feeling. And so I've had uh, one of my close friends also share with me. And he's one of these guys that I'll be going through random things and I'll mention it to him and sure enough he's going through it too just weird stuff random stuff like uh, body pains certain certain pains in the body certain certain things that we notice but uh, he he kind of just mentioned this to me without without me mentioning anything about what I was going through he was mentioning about how uh, he felt like he was getting ripped lately and he kind of attributed that to uh, his new job and I'm like yeah that makes sense like you're doing more physical stuff but then I mentioned like I'm also experiencing this and I'm not I'm not doing a whole lot more than what I normally do but like I'm experiencing a huge boost in strength and uh, physically uh, that's, that's showing as well 
So, <laughs> I found it very interesting. And after I shared this uh, experience with my friend, that I uh, found this. It's 12 12. Roger that. Oh, and then, you know what else happened? I think yesterday. Um, I gave out, remember these cards? Um, that I did, and each one of them has a saying, like, when I was born, you are existence, or this one, memory happens here, um, some of them are really good, some of them are pretty funny. Um, here, I have this one, they can't hear us, different frequencies, just smile and wave. But anyway, at the festival I was giving these out, right, which is really cool, people liked it, I was just having them pick out a card and then they pick it out. Okay, I'm going to pause it real quick so I can turn this up, see if I can find the remote. Which I guess I can't. But uh, just kind of like if you ever read, and I recommend reading the books, uh, The Celestine Prophecies, this is the same thing. Like uh, in one of the books, he experiences this, like being on a different frequency, and the people around him like, don't even notice that he's there. Yeah, the author, the main guy there in those books. Aha! Ah. Yeah. You know, they give you free hugs when you do shit like that. People are like, oh my god, I fucking love you. Free it's hugs are the best. Tell me it was a little too much. I stumbled back for a second, and then I was surprised how light he was. It was really weird. He's a Big fucking dude. He was kind of light, which was weird. Mm. Um, it was really weird, actually. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I gave out, I gave one, I had this guy who, and this chick who were in one of those food trucks, and they made a bomb, like. So, yeah, that's basically what I wanted to uh, share there. Those couple of experiences that he had. And I've been going through ebbs and flows of this uh, strength attribute. It very much feels like, I mean, it's beyond words really because it's an integration and a knowingness of the truth. And then when you understand what true strength is and where that comes from, and it's not about being bulky or having muscles. It's about being very healthy, and it's about fluidity, being clean and clear, and having energy flow through you unimpeded. That's, that's where true strength comes in. And then also willpower. and fortitude and holding on to truth in the midst of a sea of lies and chaos. Being alone and being the only one In a sea of people that have been blindfolded and have accepted being a slave, have accepted the program offered to them. Being that black sheep that stands out and remaining, remaining strong in your truth. And this is where strength is. <laughs>